welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me show you my makeup routine my everyday hair routine <laughs> because it's been a really long time since I've showed you guys my makeup routine and I get a lot of questions about my hair. I pretty much do it the same every day, so. <laughs> I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. That's why I'm dressed all cute. And I actually decided to dress like girly for this one, so we'll see how it goes. I'll show you the whole outfit and everything once I'm ready. Honestly, my makeup routine hasn't changed like much from honestly like freshman year. I kind of still do the same thing. So, here we go. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have lots of fun, crazy videos coming soon. I just filmed another high school story time. You guys loved that. So I'll keep doing that. And I'm also about to film a Instagram interactive video. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me there. It's just at Sid McGee because I do a lot of like interactive where you get to be in my videos, all that kind of stuff. Wow, the aesthetic is real today, like with the white and the black. <laughs> the first thing I do when I am starting to get ready is I wash and moisturize my face. I already washed it. I use Curology face wash and moisturizer. So now I'm just going to moisturize. Step one, just for my aesthetic, is I brush out my eyebrows. I'm not going to do them yet, but like it bothers me when they're not brushed out. First thing I have to do is decide if I want to do face makeup or not. I think I'm going to since I'm doing a photo shoot. Um, my everyday face makeup routine does not have foundation or anything like that because I don't like it. If I'm really feeling it, like going to a party or some big event, I'll do, I'll use this BB cream. So I start, actually, I don't know how I start. I honestly don't really use concealer anymore because my face has been so clear. I don't even know, like just has been. So we're not even going to do that. Actually, we are. So I just use this CoverGirl, um, Concealer. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. I haven't been getting much sleep. I'm working on it I told myself I'd be better at the whole sleep thing once I moved out on my own and I think it's gotten worse If I'm really out here gonna be filming videos, I need some energy BRB <laughs> So excited. This is one of my favorite flavors of bang. It is black cherry vanilla. Oh My gosh, I spilled that all over myself I'm honestly like, I have a decent amount of energy just chilling by myself, so that's good because sometimes I have zero energy. Woo! Wow, my hair actually looks good today. I don't know what I'm saying or doing. I look like I'm from the 80s. Okay. I'm actually gonna ask you guys on Instagram if you have like things you want me to talk about because. Okay, um, I'm just gonna like chug this really quick. I want you guys to see my struggle when I get ready. Right now I have on boots that have a little bit of like a platform. So I can actually see myself pretty good. Like this is eye level with me. So this is what I see. But normally it's like this. Like I literally can barely see myself. So when I'm doing my hair, I have to like stand on my tippy toes and then my calves get really tired and then my hands are tired from doing my hair and it's just one big mess. Sorry about whatever's happening over here. Um, I share a bathroom with boys, so. <coughs> We're gonna continue. Oh my gosh. We're gonna continue. After my concealer, I use this powder. No idea where it came from. I set this powder on my face, especially where I just put my concealer. This is why I can't film videos. Am I even a YouTuber? I never know what I'm doing. Let's go. Then I do my bronzer and blush with this e.l.f. bronzer and blush palette. I've been using this. I kid you not since I was 14 maybe even younger I'm almost 18 like oh my birthday's in 26 days by the way February 26 is my birthday but like legit been using this for four years not this one specifically obviously I've gotten new ones but I just love it like it has that perfect tint and you can get it with sparkles or without sparkles this is the first one I've done that was matte it just brings like a perfect amount of color into your face without being too much um i've actually been wondering how old you guys are because but i like to know like how old like genuinely the people who watch all the time are comment down below like how old you are let's become friends comment some facts about yourself see like genuinely that just brought so much color into my face i don't know if you guys can tell on screen but in real life yes my nose is okay literally 
this is so weird when i'm not filming my nose is never like super itchy as soon as i turn the camera on my nose is like outrageously itchy and i can't stop touching it and i've noticed in every video like ever i just like rub my nose rub my nose rub my nose that's probably why my nose is always red because i'm always rubbing it but you know it'd be like that sometimes i'm gonna do highlight i have a bunch of different highlights i use this is kind of like my go-to it's Oh my gosh, why haven't I done that with every makeup product? It's Wet n Wild. I don't know, I think I got it in an Ipsy bag or something. And then I use this brush, which I like, one day I just realized that there's unicorns on it and rainbows. I never, I thought it was just like pink. So now I just feel like a little kid when I use it and I actually kind of love it. When I'm doing my eyes, I have two different looks that I go for. I either do my Too Faced Naturalized palette or I do my Naked Urban Decay palette. I kind of want to go more natural because when I use this, I have to like put on so much mascara and shadow. I don't know if that even makes sense, but it's just like very intense. I do like it, but not all right. I'm going to use the Nudie shade all over my eye. You know, I take this brush that's supposed to be a blending brush and just put this all over my so then i take cashmere bunny which is like a little bit of purpley brown i guess and i put that in my crease then i go into my naked heat palette and i take the color in fuego and i put that in my crease i like a little bit of color it's like perfect because it still matches like the tone we're going for but brings in a little bit more color i take this dark sexpresso color isn't it weird how like makeup people they always make it like they always make all the names so sexual it's just like so weird anyway i'm putting this in the corner of my eye just to like make it a little bit darker so comment down below what you guys think I'm thinking about literally making it like natural brown, how my hair usually is, because this is still like, it still has pretty blonde in it, a lot of blonde, but I'm thinking like going brown, because I haven't had brown hair since like freshman year, and I've also been thinking about getting extensions, because I'm sick and tired of this. I don't know if you guys remember, but my hair used to be past my waist. Boom. Oh wait, I forgot. I like to put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eye, so I take in fuego and put that under the eye okay mascara this is where i'm going to give you guys the best thing you've ever heard in your entire life first we're gonna curl our eyelashes this mascara is the best mascara ever and i'm pretty sure it was only like eight dollars or something i don't know like what exactly it's called because i don't know what i'm supposed to read l'oreal paris double extended beauty tubes mascara anyway it looks like this it's great i'm sure there's like lots of kinds of this kind of mascara but you like put on the white and then you wait for it to dry and then you put on the black and then this is why it's so magical when you take it off you literally peel it you don't have to rub it it doesn't like rub onto you never will get raccoon eyes with it literally it's impossible to get raccoon eyes because if you get it wet and you rub it it just peels off like little flakes. So we're going to start by putting on our white mascara. And then while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I get so many questions about my eyebrows. First of all, I brush them out. Hello. What is, is this steak. steak? I'm not the biggest fan of steak, so I better be impressed. You're really good. Mm. Hello, good morning. Why is that so good? Because I made it. Why are you so good at making food that I don't like? <laughs> Alright, once you're an elegant maid, I'm coming to your house every Sunday for you. <coughs> Deal. <laughs> yeah, here's a hack for you guys, and this is going to be my hair video too, but castor oil. I use the Jamaican black castor oil. Just any castor oil in general is a lifesaver. I put it on my eyelashes, my eyebrows, and my scalp once a week. And then my eyebrows and eyelashes every day, every night, when I remember I haven't been doing it recently. But when I did do it, genuinely my eyebrows got thicker. The parts that I've been struggling to grow grew. My eyelashes genuinely grew. Like, if you put it on every night, you will see results. Sometimes I do like a lighter eyebrow. This is my lighter one. It's like, it honestly like is gone. Like, I can't even use it anymore. So I've been using this because I accidentally bought one that was too dark one time. But for some reason, I've been liking it a little bit darker recently, so, because, you know, I can dark light my soul. 
So let's talk about some topics for a little bit. What's one thing I miss about high school? Genuinely, I miss having something to do all the time. Even though it sucked going to school, at least like for six hours of the day, you knew you had to wake up, you would go to school, you would socialize all the time. Now I like sleep in and then I wake up, I go to the gym. Like I don't really have much of a social life. My favorite high school memories. Oh my gosh, I should do a whole video about this. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a whole video about my favorite high school memories. Conspiracy, oh my gosh, I saw this video Video. If someone hits you with a conspiracy theory, hit them with a harder one. So like, if someone says, oh, the moon landing was fake, which I believe in, then you just have to respond and say, the moon is fake. And I thought that was so funny. Before I continue talking, I just used some ramp, like I literally got this at Walmart, just whatever's the cheapest, cause I don't really care, just an eyebrow pencil. And I outline, here I'll get close so you guys can see. I outline the natural shape of my eyebrow. And then on this part, because my eyebrow kind of disappears on the end, I'm just going to like kind of fake it, fake it like that. Okay. And then we do the same on the bottom, brush it out. And then if anything looks bad, I'll just take it and like go back in. But that looks pretty good to me. Why is one eyebrow like thicker than the other one? That's so annoying. Wait, I need to listen to that now. I just got all the words wrong. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm also just gonna go in and finish my mascara with the black side. I have a lot coming up that I like don't want to talk about just in case it doesn't happen. If plans get changed, cause I hyped up New York and then moved to Utah and I don't want to do that to you guys again. I do have plans for somewhere I might be living in a year and I'm really excited about it. I have a lot of plans for what I want to do with my career. I low key want to get into acting. I say low key, but it's actually very high key. I've been wanting to be an actor since I was a very little kid. Let's see, how old am I? I'm, ba I'm, ba I'm just gonna say I'm 18, cause I'm basically 18. Um, in five years, I'll be, I'll be 23. Honestly, I'll probably be married. Love myself. <laughs> People are probably like, you're crazy, but like, I just, I want to be a wife and a mom so bad. My like, end goal is to be a wife and a mom. I don't know, this is what I really want, but I also want to have a successful career. I'm going to kill the game and be a mom and have a career, like, you know. How do you stay positive and motivated every day? I don't. <laughs> It's honestly just like what you take life because you can take life really serious and you could be sad all the time and let things affect you or when you're hurt you just like okay it's fine life is not a big deal life is just whatever you make it life's what you make it so let's make it rock and yeah I'm not motivated every day I'm honestly not happy all the time I'm not positive all the time I can sometimes be very negative especially towards myself Especially in this like social media world and being like in the spotlight in social media, I'm very hard on myself. I'm very comparing. I've been working on it. I'm just really, really hard on myself. And people who are like super, super close to me know sometimes I just lay in bed and cry because I think I'm not good enough for, I'm not cut out to be a YouTuber. I'm not good enough for this. I don't deserve it. All that kind of stuff. I compare myself to others. So it's just all about like, pushing out those comparisons, pushing out those negative vibes, putting in positive things, whether it's like positive quotes, positive podcasts, books. A big thing for me is like going to the gym, letting out the steam, making myself healthy. I've been trying to like be a healthier person because it makes my mind healthier. Doing things that make me happy and not giving myself time to dwell on the sad things, keeping myself busy all the time. I don't know, It's that's honestly like a really hard one because for everyone it's gonna be different. I get a lot of questions about my faith and my religion, all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people wanted me to make a whole video about it. That is pretty much the scariest thing to me ever. I am LDS or a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, yeah, I believe in all of it. I genuinely think it's true. I've had a lot of experiences in my life. If you don't know anything about it, um, look it up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like too nervous to talk about it, but I don't know. I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, and shout out to them, honestly. Like literally, shout out to them for life. <laughs> I'm so awkward. <laughs> Like how I spent the whole time getting ready like not talking and then now that I'm not getting ready I'm just standing here like talking in front of the camera. I'm pretty much just like answering like everything you guys want to know about me right now. <laughs> right now I've been using the rose scent from Bath & Body Works. So I always squirt this on myself right before I leave. After my mascara completely dries I curl it again because like okay look at my eyelashes. Curl them. 
Now look at them. They're popping even more. Oh, I actually kind of feel like doing fake freckles, which is like, you know, sometimes it's just fun. I just think it's really cute. I wish I had more freckles. I wish it was summer, but it's not, so. This is not very sharp, which is not good. And then I kind of just like powder them out, I guess. I don't know what you would call this. See, now that just added just a little bit more of a touch. My go-to hairstyle. You see how my hair is like super wavy? It's not always like this. It looks like I almost curled it or something. To do this, I get my hair wet and then I leave it in a bun like pretty much until it's dry. And then I take it out, scrunch it, and this is what it looks like. Because I have naturally wavy hair, but because I like sleep on it flat, it doesn't curl. So this is what I do to make the natural curls come out. Anyway, I always do like half up, half down. So like I'll just pull it back and then I put it into like a little bun, literally just like that. Here is my outfit with these shoes. These shoes are from Dolls Kill. I'm wearing spandex, so don't worry. And then this shirt is from Princess Polly. And then this is from... I believe Forever 21. Sorry, I literally talked for so long in this video. It's a lot of just talking, a lot of catching up, but I feel like it's really necessary because I wanna have a genuine relationship with you guys. We are family, siblings, let's go. Yeah, let's go to the photo shoot. just catching up talking about what life has been doing for me recently and all the above and seeing my makeup and hair all that stuff i don't even know what i'm saying anymore if you're new make sure to subscribe follow my social media it is down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye